Hello guys, and as I told you, I am back, and you know, not many people understand what I am trying to show you, to explain in my uh, videos, different videos, there are, there are a bunch of videos actually, especially on my channel in Russian, and uh, I decided to just briefly to connect all the dots and explain you what is my channel about and what is going on in the world, in my opinion. So uh, I decided to put all links, connect all the dots and explain what is the connection between modern pop culture like this, what's going on now in the world, and connect all this stuff with COVID, this 5G stuff and near a link of Elon Musk in connection, in junction with uh, what happened 200 years ago. And I think you will, in the end of this uh, video, it's gonna, not going to be one video, it's going to be five or six of them. And in the end, I will explain what is the connection between hive mind and uh, quantum computers we are using now and what's going on in the world and what all this stuff with COVID is intended to be, actually, according to the plan. And uh, let me start with... Uh, some brief overview of modern pop or rock whatever culture because it's all about one topic actually one topic the topic i am i devoted my channel to the queen of the hive you're gonna laugh but in the end of this story you will understand that it's nothing funny actually because uh, they're gonna kill us as a people as humans and so they, they are doing it all this adenochrome stuff, it's all connected. So I decided to give a link and connect all videos in my channel. Uh, and we will start start with uh, historic stuff, with what happened uh, 200 years ago and what we have now. It's going to be brief over here. There are about hundreds of uh, links. I will briefly, I will give you all the links for you to prove. And let's start with uh, some images, some ideas, what's, what's going on. Uh, I already explained you about Milan Farmer and there are a bunch of pop singers like this one, like the one in Russia, like this one, look, it's absolutely the same, absolutely, and you will understand why I show kind of, it's, it's like Milan Farmer, the same ideas, the same tricks, the same... Uh, way of presenting herself and the same idea and later i will go down to the historical part here i start with pop uh, culture and i will finish in five uh, movies i will finish with pop culture and then i will go to technical stuff in connection to everything i'm talking about so let's watch let's analyze some uh, videos old one actually today we will start to analyze old videos and why they present all videos on and images imaginary like this fractals and why they need all this cubic stuff and uh, they why they copy those these images like you know uh, in the way insects see it's not even fractal. And what is this image about? There is nothing to do with religion, actually. Absolutely. Now red stuff is coming. Red queen is coming. And watch. She is the center and swarming. Like in the hive. They swarming. That's it. Triangles. As above, so below cubes and so on what next let's talk about something okay michael jackson and what do we see here we're all in the prison what is the message of this why tvs like this like one eye 
what is the idea. But let's start with some old footages and analyze this all stuff from the beginning. Let's do it. Here's old movie. And what do we see here? Why all this stuff is like this? Why it's not simple pole? Maybe because it was from long before this shape. But it's nothing interesting. What is more interesting here? What kind of lights? Let's analyze the technologies we can see here. And it don't absolutely, uh, this city doesn't like a uh, city built in uh, 19th century by Indians and cowboys. Let's analyze what do we see here. I will give you only links you will analyze and try to analyze the society we have here. And what kind of energy was used there, because definitely there was some energy, because here we see there is absolutely no way and no chance this could be with something like gas, as they claim. But the first power uh, producing line, power generating, power source, whatever, was built in uh, 1905, actually. But here is a we sh shots, uh, camera depicting much older something earlier and we see absolutely no wires for the trams uh, one can say there are three lines of trams no two lines actually and absolutely wireless connection some power was sent to the you see no wires here and lights they are on as you see there actually you cannot see here, but you will see there. And let's analyze all this in connection to what we're going to talk about today. Lights like this, you know, there are, there are some chain only and lights. This shape without any wires, look. They were on. And then later I will uh, connect it to the modern situation we have now. Look, lights everywhere. Clocks. Clocks are everywhere. Let's talk a little bit about uh, old footages we hear. I will make a breaks for, you know, not to be banned for stupid copyright laws and so on. Here we see the same lights. Please pay attention. I will show you uh, some. De I will tell you some details. I will point out some details for you to analyze in the future. Uh, why we have lights of this type, this shape, and this type. This form, you know, this shape also. It's not by incident or uh, accident, or whatever. There, there is a purpose, technical purpose. It's not just for beautiful decoration so and we see skyscrapers already in the end of 19th century and these people they don't look like they they built all this stuff just my opinion not enough equipment to build anything like this this beauty and it's definitely not gas because gas cannot be done like this and absolutely no gas uh, facilities, no gas uh, deposits actually, and lines and high pressure valves and so on to keep it on. It was electrical, as I will explain later. And there, are, I will show you two types of society. First of all, like you know, poor people just living in something was built uh, before. Not builders, not engineers, not high educated and, and so on, uh, society. And another society, a little bit later, but they also do not follow the modern standards we have now. Look, again, light here, and much bigger lights, and absolutely no wires, and all different kinds of 
transport. Here wireless trams and horses and look how people are dressed already. They are very well dressed. Personally made dresses, men, women, whatever. And absolutely different approach and different mentality. No Russian about. People do not hurry. Absolutely. Try to understand what I mean by this. And what else do we see? We see again clock everywhere, everywhere, no, every hundred meters in all cities all around the world. It means we had one level of culture all over the world and uh, well, one level of industry all over the world. In Africa, Australia, Russia, like Siberia, China, uh, Northern and uh, South America. The same. The same domes the easy, and uh, boats. I call it free energy capacitors and I made a video, you please watch my channel and you will understand, you will see what they were used for, not just for decoration. And roofs also, the easiest way of roofs is like this, not the huge dome, it's too complicated, too expensive, uh, expensive and so on. Expenses uh, during construction and technical and monetary expenses would be huge. And uh, there must be some reason to build everything, old roofs like this. It doesn't look like uh, our ancestors, grand, 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 grandfathers, were so stupid not to understand the better ways to build, uh, easier ways to build roofs. No, of course they knew. But they were choosing this one for some purpose. What was the purpose and why we need these holes on top? And why Red Mercury was there, watch my channel. Something about it. So let's also briefly analyze. Absolutely no wires. And if you look below, again, again lights. Why we need this dome on the top of this light? Street light. And why we see this road inside absolutely isolated from the from the body think about it maybe because there is a spa there was a spark corona spark around it and we again we see huge very tall skyscrapers and we also and we see it in the uh, on the photos on the early 50s 1850s guys sometimes it was everywhere it means the technology was developed long before very long before. Watch my videos about uh, photos of the civil war in USA. There is no photos of South Army, only one army, no uh, photos of fighting, only photos of cleaning the area, cleaning the mess. We see. There are a lot of miracles actually, and, and different type of transport. And if you would mention there is no vapors you know, from the exhaust pipes, no exhaust, it's not a uh, uh, gas, it was electrical, all was electrical. Here we see three lines actually, but one only grounding, one grounding, plus was coming through the air and again this light, because if it's AC, yes we need two lines, maybe one is it, but there was no AC. It was only DC power at that time officially, according to official narratives. And what do we see? We see cathedral. Also, strange. Don't look like cathedral, look like normal house. This type. Uh, they were turned down, demolished uh, later. Huge amount of old buildings reminding us about our past were you know, torn down because of different bunch of stupid reasons, like economical reason, reasons and so on. Just try to understand what I mean. DC, if you send DC at least 100 meters, you will lose 80% of the power, because a DC is not for sending to the big, uh, huge distances. Just because of it, you know, it's too complicated. You need 
high voltage of AC to send uh, energy uh, via through the wires. If you engineer, you'll understand what I mean. Absolutely wireless. And it's not a, something to pull. No. Technical losses, losses of power would be huge. And keep on watching, guys. I will give you a bunch of reasons and proofs that we had something different long before. And just like here, we see grid lights, the same type. Status, it's in USA, but we see eagles, we see clocks everywhere. Two of them, two guys, maybe it's not only clock, maybe something else. But we see clock, we see eagles and statue of not cowboy, not Indian, whatever, not Catholic priest, somebody from dressed thousand style, Greek Roman style. Doesn't it look weird for you? Guys? And again, no Russian people just walking. They just walk. Different approach, and and again. And again, we see steel constructions. It's 19th century, but we see stone masonry, perfect one. And we see very perfect steel construction without any sign of corrosion, because they were made of different material, absolutely different. And again, street lights everywhere, like street lights. It's definitely not gas. How will you pull gas here? on top of it and again it looks like electrical looks like like modern one but it, it's not diesel because at that time no diesel production and again domes on top of skyscrapers so there absolutely and technologies like just like today and again look lights don't believe me watch myself and analyze yeah maybe now in, in, in 18 year you can see wires already and, and electrical wires ac ac type of electric power but if you see here steam steam and something was heated there, but it's not a uh, charcoal or coal or something like this burning. It was definitely no gas already. And why we need this pole with this ball on top? Again, like on some photos on San Francisco and 50s. And again, cones and again, domes. Okay, let's go on. Just one example of what I was going to show you in Hero. 1819s, Paris, of course. They claim it was built in 15th century, whatever. Uneducated people could design, make it, produce all this perfect masonry without concrete, and so on, which is actually bullshit. And fill it up with beautiful statues, climb up on and do everything and they were wearing really shit, uh, wearing poetry, uh, starving because of uh, hunger, uh, plague and so on, different diseases. Do you buy it? I don't. And we see lights here. One line. 90s, guys. And 20 years ago. We see perfect steel construction. Paris, guys. People were dressed like, you know, millionaires today. 
And what is this? Again, I will make a video about them. They call it, they claim it, uh, Egyptian domes, obelisks. That's bullshit. There was no fucking obelisk in Egypt. Um, not so many. And uh, each of it's monolith. Each of them weighs uh, hundred and sometimes five hundred tons. And there was no way somebody could deliver it from Egypt to center of Siberia, to Paris, to St. Petersburg, to Istanbul, to England, and so on. They are all over the world. Who's gonna believe this bullshit? And watch it. Fountain. And lights, you see, they are on. Even daytime, they are always on. Strange. What kind of power is needed to power all street lights? 24 hours. Always. Sometimes they are on, but and off. By uh, people walking there and uh, pulling on and off because there was no wires coming. There was no switch to turn on. You have to move the rod a little bit up and down or right or left. There was only way to uh, disconnect this spark from the dome making standing wave and the uh, grounding. I made a video about street lights, uh, watch it on my channel. And fountains, of course, obelisk, like everywhere, and of course, every stupid king or Napoleon or whatever other bullshit official narrative is claiming. Uh, moved obelisk from Egypt. There are thousands of them, guys. Not only hundred thousands all over the world. Where they were produced in Egypt? Fuck bullshit. But fountains. Okay, nineties. Guys, if you're an engineer, what kind of pressure is needed? What kind of pipes? Uh, where water coming from, where energy coming from, and from where? Where is the, are the pumps? Maybe it was not pumps, maybe it was something else, which I'm also talking about in my uh, other videos. And there are a bunch of fountains all over the world. Here we see two of them working 24 hours a day. What? How many kilowatts is needed, actually, for this? If it's electricity, why so many horses? If people can afford, you know, build the fountains, officially it was built also not long before uh, this. Why people can't afford, you know, electric cars, for example? Just watch, no Russian. People just walk, no wonder. And uh, there are many there were many fountains one of them like five floors five story block of flats huge one with extremely high pressure like i showed you in uh, st peter's st petersburg there are place when called peter Gov, and uh, originally all fountains were the same the same but they was they were built you know in 1820s or something and they claim that it was kind of huge lake somewhere upper, but you know, St. Petersburg is completely flat. And you cannot make a water flow go up 20 meters. Only by changing the attitude, you know, levels. Bullshit, but you still need high pressure uh, pipes. But you, you need very high industry to make high pressure pumps. 200 years ago that's bullshit all official narrative is bullshit just analyze it and think and again domes and holes and so on just watch it again lights again building the same style everywhere of course fire team bullshit and watch this Again, fountain. Again, why you need fine fountain here? But you need it because uh, water is too hot. You need to cool it down through the air. It was common practice everywhere in the world. 
climate was much hotter, much hotter. There were no heating places and so on. And fireplaces were not designed for to burn woods and so on. And there are a bunch of videos and researches about it. And watch their ships. There was no absolutely. Just watch. They go different direction. How it's possible to go different direction? And you see, like, you know, this, how to say, parus in Russian. I don't know. But you understand what, where wind blows to. It shows that wind blows in different direction. How? Maybe because there are different way of driving, of pushing, of pulling their ships. Just think about it. It sounds crazy, but even in small uh, scale, it could be used. It could be could be applied. Just watch it and analyze. Small details, but its details has keys. Think. Maybe we didn't need anything like you know steam engines and so on to make ships move. Just a weird idea. Just think about it. It's not like they pushed and, and so on. It was too far away. They're going in different directions. Look, here also. There is something, you know, make, make them move. So it was some kind of... Something we don't know. Maybe some kind of energy going via, via this road and making... And energy can make water go around somebody. It's possible. Technically, it's possible. You need the source of this power. That's it. Technically, it's explainable if we assume presumption, assumption, assumption that we have this source of energy. Look. Scales. scales. And he will just put them on water and they will go. go. Just think about it. There is no sign of wind because water goes like this and it's not like wind going, taking water away. And absolutely, if we analyze the behavior of water, a wind goes from left. There is no way a ship can go against with this type of... You understand this shit? They all go one way. But wind goes different way. And another ship going different way. Opposite. And that's it. Guys, <laughs> what the hell is going on? Here. It goes left, it goes right. Where guys will tell? And here also. Walking road. Again, this type of light. It just Paris, guys. Just Paris. I will uh, finish uh, my uh, notices, observations of old movies, maybe in second part of this video. And then we go further and we will finish with uh, COVID and everything going uh, on today, actually. But I will start uh, and will give you proofs that you can check. And after checking, you will understand that I'm right. Maybe not, but write in comments what do you think. But here we see the level of technology incredible for today. Two levels. One goes slower, slower, slow to step on and then go on the next level faster. It's insane for today, but it was 130 years ago, guys, at least. And it was five kilometers long, five, it's more than three miles. You know, an all-around exposition in Paris. It's incredible, but amount of energy needed for this going 24 hours a day 
insane. Absolutely. In 19th, in actually in 80, 80 something, officially it was no enough capacity, no enough, they call it dana, dynamo, but the dynamo didn't need any fuel. And I will make a video about it actually, but no, it's simple. At that time, we don't know about it, but if we would try to build anything like this, cons power consumption, you know, energy consumption, electricity consumption would be huge and technology needed, you know, bear and so on would be also incredible. Just how many bearings? There is different way. It's not like Otis we used today. You know, this walking line for pedestrians. I don't know how to say in English, but you understand what I mean. Uh, that's not the point. Uh, any engineer, please explain how it was built. And look how people dressed. Something representative. Something not affordable like for today. Like a woman all dressed. And again, if you uh, watch the modern pictures depicting Eiffel Tower, you will not see these domes. This, they are completely metallic. But who turned them down? And what for? It was done in the uh, 1920s. Why and what for? Think about it. Just analyze. And this dome. And this kind of glasses. It was built. And here also lights. Absolutely no wires to these lights. And here also dome. And something. <sighs> How it was heated in winter time. Okay, Paris is a uh, thousand parts. In, uh, it's placed in a very warm climate but anyway it's winter guys but it's only glass and how glass was built i have a video about how to make glass it's not possible without very uh, high level of industry and chemical industry and uh, metallic and a lot of gas uh, pure gas heating today and so on there's no way it could be built 140 years ago but the first uh, Crystal Palace was built in 1830s in England, which is not possible because uh, steel production lines and glass production lines were invented only in uh, 1860s. So the whole official narrative is a bullshit. Later I will show you much more. Okay, it's time to finish because it's already more than 30 minutes we talk about. Look at other places, other places. At the same time, these people, like builders, creators, engineers of all these buildings. And what do we see here? Again, different society, absolutely. And here. Huge stuff, huge ship, and this is Moscow, the same also 80s or something, 1980s, again, the same kind of street lights, I mean, it was, and the same buildings, absolutely mud flooded buildings, but it means we had the same technology and the same uh, power sources and the same uh, engineers approach and so on. All over the world. The world was global, guys. The world already was global. And the technical level, this was definitely electrical or something. Only two lines. And that's it. You need some power source and look at the desert fields around them. This is electrical, different. 
But now something small and electrical was below the floor of this vehicle. Yeah, people dancing like everywhere, but it's not the point. The point is how people treated all this stuff. It's already 90s, but only young trees all around. And steam. It's different kind of steam, I will tell you later about it, maybe. We didn't need any charcoal for it. No wires. Absolutely no uh, exhaust part. Manhattan, look. The same lights, but no wires. And nothing, no, no three lines. Watch it. Absolutely no trams. No connection to the any wires. And again, roads, roads, roads. Why we need these roads? Again, lighting, fuck it, guys. Here is a, some roads, but trams. But it's already later. And again, lights. The technology was used. Technology not comparable to what we have today. Yeah, we repeat. <sighs> Again, two floors. It means it was designed for very crowded people. And again, lights, street lights, the same type. Absolutely the same type all over the world. No changes in, in design because it was one Producing line for all the world. And again. Watch it. No trams. The same lights. The same lights with domes. Not something simple flat. Massive dome on top. To produce standing wave like you know, massive dome on top of the buildings. For the same, for power source. And what we see here. I think already show you. Okay, there is nothing interesting so far. People well dressed. Okay. And the same holes. Strange. And again, that it's definitely no gas. No chance, no way it could be gas. And no way it could be um AC lamps like we use today. It must be massive. We don't see it inside. Sometimes it's really close. We don't see any lamps in it. We see one road to make Corona lights around. Saint Elm lights, so called. The same principle was there. I made a design about it. And and watch. Film. These kids don't look like, you know. Builders. And here also. 60s time machine, guys. In 60s, what do we see? The same lights. And Greco Roman style. It's USA. Guys. It's USA. Absolutely the same. Why we need these columns, this type? This is modern building, but this is old one. And the same lights. Absolutely no light bulbs inside. There is something different. You will un understand, analyze later. And different aside. And watch it. I think candles were inside. I will try to tell you. Here also the same dome on top. It's different building, not, not like I showed you before. Columns try to rotate the, the weight of it uh, at least two tons. You cannot make it without rotation. How can you make it without rotation? 
You need kind of equipment, it's, but it's in 60s, guys. And again. Why you build a huge fabulous buildings and don't build any anything like asphalt to step on it? Mud flat was everywhere. That's my point actually. We lost a lot and we know nothing. Official, official narrative was bullshit. Huge perfect buildings but no asphalt on streets. No flat stones to move on. Huge buildings. Huge. Very tall savings and nothing to lie to. No. Just analyze people the time. Lights. And it's sixties. Slavery was there. Black leaves matter. Look, do they look like slaves? Show me at least one photo of real slave. I haven't seen any. I searched. They don't look like. This is actually documentary. And so, the, let me finish on this stuff. And I will tell you much more uh, later on the second, because it's too late for the first, first time, too long. But I will continue with uh, many proofs that official uh, narrative is bullshit. And then we go to the 30s, uh, to the movies, and the idea of what's going on now with explanation with many, many other proofs of what is going on now. I will tell you more about this building uh, just near me which was built in uh, 8060, but it was completely electrical new. I will tell you more. Uh, everything is against official narrative. So see you later on second part, and uh, we will connect all possible dots. Please write in comments what do you think and what other dots I should connect to, to what we will have now. What is going on now? Uh, if you have any questions, write comments, I'll try to answer. Thank you for today, enough for the first part. And bye. Stay focused on my symbol. It will help you to balance everything, all energies, and it will give you inspiration. So keep on focused and stay in touch. Bye.